Hello, and thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If you're returning, thanks. It means a lot. Okay, today we're going to look at this deadbolt lock set. And the reason I wanted to look at it was because I'm pretty impressed. Um, it's by Ace Hardware. I'm not affiliated with them. They didn't um, sponsor me for this or anything. I went and got it. It's It was their cheapest deadbolt lock set. Their polished brass one, Noble House. I think it was like 13 or 14 bucks cheap. The reason I got it at Ace was because uh, Ace is a lot closer to my house than a Lowe's or a Home Depot. And I was like, I'll give them a shot for the savings and gas. It's nearly three times further from my house. So I opened it up and I looked at it and I was actually really impressed. The brass fittings here, or the um, spacers for where the deadbolt goes. They were inside this little bag. All the bolts and everything were wrapped up nice in the box. Everything comes in little bags. Keys work perfectly. What I found unique was this little spacer. Now I haven't done a deadbolt in a while, so I don't know of any newer kits, but I don't remember any of the kits from the other big box stores um, having this. And that takes up the gap in the door. So we're going to get it installed on the door. And see how it looks. We'll take a look at the actual door itself too. Okay, it's just your standard pre-cut hole solid door. It's a little dirty and I gotta paint it, but it's an exterior door, so I'm not worried about it. But yeah, that hole was pre-cut, and most of the time when you get a door like this or you're swapping a door and it's not new, the holes and the slots and everything aren't really going to line up and this one doesn't line up either because if you look down here the striker is way lower so the handle should be about here not too far from the deadbolt but look how low the striker is it's like probably only three feet from the ground it's really low so we're gonna get the deadbolt in there and see how it looks okay so stuck the catch bolt in and it fit perfectly no adjustments but this did have an adjustment on the collar if you needed to bring it in or out and then normally you would just on a normal set that i've seen before you would just put the head on there and then you would have to line up you know keep it steady this one though came with a little plate So it fills in the gap. And that lip rides on the inside. On the inside right here. So we'll get that in. Alright, now that it's in, you can see you can't see no gap anymore and it's pretty much lined up. So we'll get the backing plate on and start the two screws. Leave everything loose until you make your final adjustments on here. Okay, so we tightened everything down. Those two screws, these two screws, hand tight. You don't need to go anymore. And it works flawlessly. Get the key in there. Works great. All right, so the next side we're gonna talk about is gonna be the actual security side of everything. So depending on what type of door spacing you have, if it's pre-drilled or not, like I said, this one was uh, just in the wrong spot everywhere. So I had to actually cut down a little bit of the wood and that's the inside security plate and then there's a strike plate that goes over it. And kind of doubles over on there like that and then the door closes and I'll show how tight the fit is you see there's only a small gap there and I had to cut a little bit off the door to make everything fit but it closes perfectly and this will be the filler in there 
and that'll take up the space. So we'll get it all installed and take a look at it. All right, the striker plate's installed. See the double plates there for security. You just gotta get some wood filler and fill, it, uh, fill this in. If you had to make some adjustments or chips, we'll close it up. And that's that. So yeah, the Ace Hardware Kit was uh, definitely an easy, easy, simple lock to install. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe.